are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. So I'm actually... Um, Can you I'm hear me? Good? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. okay, good. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, per I am. Perfect. So I'm actually recording this also, and I'll put it on a private YouTube link, and you can hang on to it for reference okay. just in case. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, might as well. It's easy enough to do. So thanks for sending me all that feedback. I think I got most of it in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, it's you crazy? not at all. I mean, it's it's common, you know, it's... We try to get all the stuff out up front, but especially with e-commerce, there's always some different things we gotta take care of once the site's live. You know, it's a little more sense of urgency then. Okay. So yeah, the, is we just didn't wanna we didn't advertise it uh, because the prices weren't right or sure, missing sure. merchandise or so forth. So, uh, just to tell you a little bit about the site and what it's built with, it's a WordPress website that has a custom theme or a custom front end, which is everything that we see, everything that your users mm -hmm. see. You know, so it's got all these, all the fonts that we went over. I actually see a typo right here. One got by us. Exclusive. I, I, I can fix that. But uh, okay. so it has this really user friendly back end or administrative login. And okay. you, sh you should have gotten an email yesterday that said I set you up with a user account. Did you see something uh, come? So let me, yeah, I do. Yeah, you did get that? I do have it. Okay, good. So the one thing you want to remember is in order to get to this login screen here, it's slash admin, A-D-M-I-N, like administrator. Uh, usually I recommend you just bookmark that link um, just to keep it handy. So it's just your domain, ltpoapparel.com slash admin. Admin, okay. Yeah, and then and then once you're in, but it's also on one of the links that you send on the email, right? Because I see uh, there's two different links or three different that you put here to log in. Which one are you seeing? Or no, uh, the email that you sent yesterday doesn't that have the link also to I can add it as a favor or no? I still have to go to ltpo.com. Yeah, that. Minus. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, that'll get you there that's too. The same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just the one that's easy to remember is slash admin. Slash admin. Okay. Yeah. So once you're in there, all right, so I set you both up with user accounts. Okay. Right? Um, if you need to, I can send you a password reset so you can set your own password. Or you can also do it from okay. that same screen. So I'll from just, there. yeah, okay. I'll just, I'll just send it. I'll send you both password resets. Now okay. it's usually a little easier just to get in that okay. way. Okay. So I'm just going to log in with the shop manager account here. So okay. so we we see the same thing. So you'll have your own username and email address obviously. If you forget the password, you can always reset it. Right? Okay. Yeah. So once you're logged in, this is what you'll see. You'll see uh the back end, right? With the black bar up at the top. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. And the very far top right, you can log out there. You don't necessarily need to log out. There's not any kind of credit card information or anything that's really um, desired by hackers or anything like that. So you, you can stay okay. logged in as long as you want, really. Right? Uh, so okay. once you're in as an admin, you, you have all these options on the side here. The, the, okay. ma the, main, okay. ones, the main ones that you're going to want are obviously the products, right? The products here, and then under WooCommerce, the orders and the customers here. 
So that those are the ones you'll mostly be concerned with. Um, okay. So if you look up here at the very top left, you'll see this drop down comes out where it says visit site. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you click on that, that'll take you back to the front end where you're customer facing. Okay. All right, so you can click that back and forth to go front end, back end. Okay. Right, so it says dashboard. Got it or visit site, that's how, that's how you alternate. And you can edit from either side. As long as you're logged in as an admin, you're gonna see up in the top, this top bar, it says edit page, or it'll say edit product, if you're looking at a product. Okay. You know, so some of the content in different areas you can actually edit. Some of it is hard coded as well, like all the stuff at the bottom, we hard code so the site will load faster. Um, you know, so as you as you poke around in here, if you're looking at different pages and you want to edit something and you can't figure out where to do it, most likely it's hard coded. So, like for example, the about us page, you actually can edit the content areas here. Okay. Yeah. So not only can you change product data, but you can also change some of the site content as well. Okay. And, and then when you do make a change, just over on the right side here make sure you just hit update. That update button update. actually saves it. So like if I were to go in here and hit edit on this text area, you, you hit done down at the bottom right, and then update is what actually saves it. This is very similar. I have a website for my real estate office and it's the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it might so be WordPress. With, with this. Yeah, there's a good chance that it's WordPress. I don't know the exact percentage, but I think WordPress runs something like 40, per 60, 40 to 60 percent of the websites on the internet now. So, yeah, yeah, so it it's is a WordPress site. Yeah, so it's it's, very, it's very pretty similar. widely known. Yeah. One of the nice things about the sites that we build is the way that I build them. I only use certain plugins. I use a very limited amount of plugins, so not a lot. And then the theme or the front end that we build is actually a one of a kind theme. So it's not something that someone can go buy anywhere. Okay. It's actually a theme okay. that that we designed okay. Okay. specifically for your business. So that okay. yeah, and and that's gonna help the website load really fast and in turn that makes it so people can check out quicker, which is a big deal. Okay. Okay. Okay, so how do I change or correct, excuse me? Yeah. There was one price that we need to fix for the yes. price shirt. Yeah, so let's go ahead. One. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So if you're looking at the website from the front, right, you can yeah. you can go to so it here. Yeah, I wanted to just do it with you on the oh, phone. Show me how <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So now that we're looking at the actual product page, you'll see it says edit product up at the top. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you can just click on that, and that's going to have all your product information there. You know, and, and one thing that we didn't get from you was any product descriptions, and, you know, you can type descriptions in here. I can type it in there. Yeah, and then also there's a short description down at the bottom, which shows up more towards the top of the page. So usually I put it in the okay. short. Usually I would put a description in that, in that area down there. Um, okay. Okay. So you'll see all these different areas. We've got we've got some SEO plugins in here. All these different areas will shrink down so you can kind of reorganize them if you want. I usually put the product data right up top. Okay. So everything about your product is going to be right in this product data section, right? Uh, we have them all set to taxable and then you can actually change your stock quantity, your SKUs, if you want to have certain SKUs, usually I just kind of make them up based on the product titles. Um, oh, okay. Just under the inventory tab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I can, I can have uh, control of how much are available to sell, and then once you start selling, it'll be done. Yeah, and then, and then if you set a low stock threshold, it'll, get it, it'll email you and say, hey, you're almost out of inventory. Okay. And you can allow back orders too. Okay. It's pretty uncommon to want to do back ordering, but you have those options here. All right. So, oh, okay. so when we're talking about pricing, because this is a variable product, meaning it has you know different sizes and different colors, that makes it 
a variable product. Okay. You're going to be looking at these different attributes, right? So there's all your colors and your sizes, and they're they're used for the variations. So you would, all these buttons okay. are pre-checked. I you know I I set up a lot of the stuff already for you. Um, okay. And then your variations here, under this section, this is where all the prices are. So right here, this represents you know every possible option. You know, aqua small, medium large, extra large, two XL, blue, white, so on and so forth. So to change the prices, you basically just have to expand all these, and then go one by one. Yeah, and then go through and set them. So what was the price? Uh, twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine. Each, no matter what size. Yeah. Yep. No matter what size. Okay. Oh, you put it on the top left. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll see like it's a big accordion area here. So I just expanded them all using this right here. You can just expand them all. And then just oh, okay. kind of copy paste it down the line. Okay. Yeah, with variable products, it's a little more complex. If it's a simple product and there's no variations, it's just one thing. Okay. I'll just go here real quick, knock this out. And then save changes, obviously. Save changes. Okay. And then for good measure, we're okay. going to go up and hit this update button again. Because okay. <laughs> I just hit just it all. I hit it all okay. the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was one thing. And yeah. then there was one more thing on the old logo. Um, it goes up to 3X, the size. Okay. This, uh, I the, only original, did. You know, the original logo in black. Yeah. So you can see the price is twenty nine dollars here. All right. Now it's perfect. Yep. So let's go. That was this one, right? The underneath where your where your mouse is, this right one. there. Mm -hmm. That one. Okay. So we need to add three X. Three X. Let me see how you do. How do you do that? Yep. So, so you did add a product. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna okay. go. Open this, okay. Yep, edit product, right? And then mm -hmm. this is this is already set as a variable product. So we're gonna look at the attributes. Mm -hmm. And then we have the attribute size here. Mm -hmm. And all we're gonna do is add that right here with that little pipe character. Is that? Yeah, that's the pipe. It's uh usually Usually above like the enter button, it's just the straight line. Oh, got it. I see. You, you I got could it. you could always just copy paste it too. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a Mac. Yeah, I'm on a Mac too. Okay. <laughs> I, I saw where, yeah, I saw where I saw where it's, it's above the yeah the yep. return on enter. Yeah, so once you add that, okay. you just save it. Save. Okay. And then you're gonna have to go to variations because we added a variation. You'll see there's only the two X here. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have this. Add variation. Yeah, there's all there's all different options in here. You might even I think you can even. Oh look, I could have set the prices in bulk. I forgot about that. So you know how I did it manually on the other one for all 15 variations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I could have just used uh -huh, this uh -huh. and said, hey, set all of them at once. So. Yeah, check out that. Oh. Check out the different options in that menu. You can do a lot of things with this. So we're just gonna do add variation. Add variation. Go. And it okay. adds this blank okay. one, and then we're gonna add three. Yep. And the price on these was nineteen ninety five. And that's really the only thing you have to do to make it show up is set okay. the price. Okay. Maybe I'll. You can drag them around here using this. Just. Oh. Just okay. So they're in order. Yeah, so they're in order. And save the changes. Save the changes. Update. Update. 
And then if you click this little link right here, it'll actually take you right back to the product page. And there we have it. Okay. Sounds good. That's perfect. Okay. And I guess the last thing would be, because it's pretty, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's not that difficult. Yeah, you know, I'm sure I'm going to have questions. But sure. It, I, I can, you know, a lot of it is very self-explanatory. Yeah, the, um, the, the most shipping, complex. What did you set it to? Huh? Say that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I cut you off. No worries. What was your question? What did you say? Oh, on the shipping. What is it that it's set to? So, um, shipping. When someone orders, let's say. Because um, I already went to the post office and I got an idea of yeah, what so. it is if it ships within the United States uh, of America uh -huh. or if it ships international. Yeah, so right now, the shipping options I just have set as uh, just like some standard settings I usually launch with. Uh, so selling locations, sell to all countries. Mm -hmm. And then if you, under WooCommerce and settings here, this is where our okay. shipping is set up. And shipping can be a little tricky, so I'll help you refine it. And right now I just have two methods. I have flat rate and local. Okay. So zone regions for the U.S., Mm -hmm. The flat rate, I have it I set at $10. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, more or less, that's what it is. It's anywhere from 5 to $10, yeah. depending on which one shirt or two or whatever. Yeah, and you know, then usually you can put two in one box, and yeah. <laughs> it usually works out pretty good at 10 okay. bucks. Okay. So, and But there's all ways you can enhance this and make it, um, you know, request dynamic amounts. If you set up a USPS account, you know, we can actually build in a module that gets real-time rates based on weights and then we have to go in and set all the all the length and width and height and the weight of every single product it's pretty complex oh it's pretty complex and a lot of times it's not worth the effort if we can just get away with say okay 10 bucks that should do it across the board it's much easier all right correct but okay. you know there okay. there are there are ways to have advanced shipping out there Okay. 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 Well, this doesn't seem too, too bad. Um, those were mainly my questions because we just wanted to start marketing it and wanted to make sure that the products were sure. already there and that, yeah, so people start ordering that it's correct and, you know, that the prices are correct, which now they are, um, you know. And then, you know, they told me to give you a call, uh, yeah, so just so you could show me an overview. Yeah, yeah. It's very similar to what I'm already accustomed to. Perfect. Yeah, and I wanted to record this video also and get this over to you. So your tax is also set up, so if someone is shipping to Florida, it'll charge them a 6.5% rate. 6.5%, yeah, correct, which is a rate in West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Stephen, I think this is, this was pretty much what we needed to know. And yeah. then the, the orders button, I see that it's BP1. Is that the test order that yep. we did? sure is. That's your test order so there. Do, does that go away or? I can I can delete it, it if you want. You to do yeah, I mean you you can you can delete it if you want, but this is uh, your test, yeah. yeah. Don't de don't delete it. But what what are we supposed to do when we have orders and and though this it sends it sends an email someone's you know that someone is requesting to order a shirt. Yeah. Is that how it goes? Yeah. So it'll okay. you'll get an email. The customer will get an email. And then if you want to, a lot of times what will happen is it, once you get a tracking number, you can go over here on the right side and say add note, note uh, to customer. Okay. Put note to customer okay. and say tracking info and then put the link okay. or put the tracking information and that will go out to the customer. Okay. So, you know, that'll uh, okay. give them that peace of mind Perfect. and they can, they can watch it like a hawk as it travels across the states <laughs> perfect 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 yeah because that, that that i think that would be great that way um, they know when it's on the way uh-huh so we have to pretty much log in once we get the alert yeah log in and then add this i mean you don't have to you don't have to log in but it's it's really up to you you know if you log in and add that tracking info right here under note to customer mm -hmm. it saves it on the system so you know you can always see it for future reference 
and so can they. Oh, okay. Because when they, when they buy something okay. through the website, they have the option to create account and also log in and see their order history. Okay. So, okay. so if you put okay. that information there, you know, it keeps it part of your CRM, if you will. Okay, correct. Which will go into the customer's tab that I see that's right underneath orders. Yes. Mm -hmm. It creates a software. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I think those are the basic questions that we had for right now. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have others in the future, but yeah. I think we're, we're pretty much set for right now. Um, and then that way we don't have to be bothering you every five minutes. Yeah, well, well the, <laughs> the, the thing is, is as part of the, the hosting plan and the management and the upkeep of the security, we make sure your SSL certificate is in place. So if you see up here on the top, it says connection is secure and you get that, you get that little okay. lock. I can't quite see it. Let me scoot it down. But you get this little lock right here in the address bar. And when, pe okay. when people okay. are going to check out and put in credit card information, that's something that is becoming common knowledge. You know, and a lot of the browsers will warn people and say, hey, this site's not secure. Don't buy. Okay. So that's, that's one of the big Correct. things that we manage. We make sure that this site stays secure. Um, obviously, we okay. do all the security updates for the WordPress itself. And then along with that okay. hosting plan, you get an hour of support and edits every month. So, you know, so if you have any questions, just reach out to me and, you know, usually it's a easy question and I can give you a quick answer. Okay. So, okay. so don't okay. be, don't be afraid to reach okay. out to us. You know, we're, we're going to manage it for you and we'll be here mm -hmm. to answer whatever questions you have. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, Stephen. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, taking a little bit of time to give me a little bit of an overview. Of course. Um, uh, on the site. And, and if you would send me this record, that would be great. That way I can refresh myself. If yep. I have any I will. Later on. I'll up. <laughs> and I will definitely let you know if we have any other questions. Okay. I'll be here. We'll talk soon. Okay, Stephen. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.